Hi guys. Guess where I am heading right now. Um I am in Colombia. Not the country, not the university. It's a city in South Carolina. And the reason why I'm here is that um two big English Premier League soccer clubs um Liverpool and Manchester United are playing a friendly match uh at the at Columbia South Carolina and the match is supposed to begin at 7:45 local time and it's almost 7:05 and I see I'm close to the stadium it's my first time in the city and even in the state um I can see a long line of cars So are they all headed to the stadium I'm not sure but if they are I would say that soccer has really arrived in the US and I'm really excited to go watch the match hopefully rain doesn't play spoil spot on my way up here from Florida I ran into a couple of thunderstorms and couple of lightning strikes and all that so hopefully rain stays away and we have a fun field day watching liverpool versus manchester united so i was right um all the cars were headed to the stadium and uh i somehow managed to find an unofficial parking space which was like 10 to 15 minutes walk from the stadium i'm still still heading towards the stadium and the match is about to begin in 10 minutes uh but glad i managed to find parking and i'm headed in the right direction and there you go that's the stadium right there of red all over Liverpool is already leading by one goal to nil
the half time show is going on and Liverpool lead two goals to nil at half time and the stadium is not a soccer stadium it's a uh, the University of South Carolina stadium and uh, recently the American football is played in this stadium but it's full capacity right now it's a sea of red uh, you can't really distinguish between the Liverpool red and the Manchester red but it's a sea of red all over Well, it took me until the half-time break for me to find my way uh, to the seat that was assigned on my ticket. Uh, all through the first half, I was standing right at the corner as soon as I got into the stadium. It was way too packed and the match had already begun. Uh, but right now, I realize that that was a much better view than my seat. What just happened was a Liverpool substitution of almost seven to eight players. So the only ones that remain from the starting lineup are the goalkeeper and uh, Connor Bradley, who is at the right back. But everybody else is, has been substituted, and we have mostly academy players, young players um, playing right now. Now that they have a comfortable lead of three 0 it's time to gives these youngsters some time on the with the ball that's a good that's a good move it is past 80 minutes on the clock and the crowd has slowly started leaving to get ahead on the road on the way back to home Closing match of the match, get into injury time.
lesbian have a wonderful night. Well, that's it guys. It was a, an exciting experience. Uh, the match was really good even though it was a pre-season friendly. Uh, the attendance was at its all-time high, uh, 77,559 uh, for any soccer match and in the, in the state of South Carolina. Um, so yeah, just before we end, a fun fact. Um, this is not the first time I'm watching these teams in action at a football uh, field. Uh, I was at the 2014 at the 2014 uh, International Champions Cup Finals between Man Manchester United and Liverpool. Uh, Ten years, that seems a long time ago right now. At that point, I guess Louis Van Hal had just taken over uh, the managership at Manchester United and Liverpool was still being managed by Brendan Rodgers. A really long time since then. I think it was Gerard, Gerard was still playing. I remember uh, the tournament was won by Manchester United, three goals to one. And I remember being the being at the end where Gerard scored the penalty, the consolation goal. Um, so, ten years is a lot of time. As you can see, the result today is Liverpool three and Manchester United nil. Uh, I'm sad I had to miss the entire Klopp era which ran almost 9 years. I never got to see a match first hand uh, in the Klopp era. But uh, the Honor Slot era begins. And uh, as a Liverpool fan, I would call this result a sweet revenge. I hope the team goes on to repeat the same. Uh, once the Premier League season begins. So, off to a very good start pre-season here in the United States. And signing off.